Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 17 here on Canada National Map. Uh, while this is unloading, I am pretty sure I seen a golden nugget right back here. We will just jump out and collect that. I have found three so far on this map. Uh, they all seem to be pretty easy to find. So today, I am just harvesting some of this corn. I know I said I'd be harvesting soybeans, but I feel it is currently not ready to harvest yet. It's not even starting growing. So I'm just harvesting this field right here, and that way, give it a little bit of extra time to grow. And I gotta spray some fertilizer on it as well. Uh, I have two hired workers going in field five and field six, planting barley in five and planting grass in field six. Uh, hopefully here soon we will be able to afford cows, which is going to be fantastic. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day today. I know I am. Uh, it's been a very eventful couple of days, but glad they're over. And I'll just be glad when the end of December gets here, or December gets here. Uh, there will be a weekend that uh, I won't be uploading any videos because I am going to the Tennessee State Fire Academy to become a full-time firefighter, um, which I am overwhelmingly excited about. Uh, I've been a volunteer for going on for four years now, and I love every minute of it. But... In other words, I will post three videos uh, Thursday when I leave, and uh, that way it'll make up for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, anything you guys want to see in a farming simulator series, please let me know. Uh, if y'all want to see a certain type of crop or a tutorial on how to do something or a mod review, please let me know and uh, I will do those. Um, I'd be more than welcome to provide you all with that information and the video as well. Um, I am going to start doing mod reviews pretty soon. Don't know how soon, but maybe once they come out with a little bit better mods than what they have now. Uh, I have been searching the web web for mods uh, just because I absolutely love installing mods. It's like an addiction. Once you download one, you've got to have a blue bean. I don't know how you guys are, but that's me. So. I think on Farmer Simulator I had over 300 mods that I had just because they came out with some great mods in Farmer Simulator 15 and I hope they do the same in 17. Uh, right now my frame rates ain't doing very good. Uh, they're actually dropping a little bit which is in which is kind of weird because I played this a little bit off screen and it actually has been doing really good but for today for some reason it's kind of the FPS is uh, dropping just a little bit I don't know what's causing that but it's still a good map though and the link will be in the description below 
for the map as well. Uh, also, let me know in the comments below how you all are enjoying Farm Sim 17. I'd really like to get this video up to about 20 likes and if you've not subscribed yet and you watch this video please subscribe because I'd like to get 40 subscribers before November uh, I'm trying to set a good goal and try to meet that goal if at all possible um, I know where I'm kind of new most people don't want to watch a new person they want to watch somebody that's been doing YouTube videos for a while but I hope you guys do enjoy the video my videos um, I do want to keep doing videos for you guys and I am going to keep uploading every single day there's not a day that goes by that I won't upload a video to YouTube um, also, I'm going to be bringing back American Truck Simulator as, as well to my channel. Uh, you all seem to like those videos as well. Um, but really, I, I kind of burn out on American Truck Simulator, at least until they come out with more states in. American Truck Simulator. I guess driving in three states is getting a little bit old. Even though I do have the coast to coast map, um, it would be very painful for y'all to sit there and watch me drive a truck from California to New York City. Uh, that video would probably be about an hour and a half, two hours long, and I know that's hard for y'all to watch. Um, I'm kind of trying to keep the time at a good time for y'all because I know y'all don't like really long videos. Um, I know I don't like watching long videos, the same video for the for a long period of time. It's kind of I wouldn't say it gets boring, but you kind of want to watch something else. So I'm trying to keep the videos at a good time around 20-30 minutes. Hopefully that's a decent time for you all. If not, I can lower it or I can up it. Whichever one you all would want. But I really do enjoy doing these videos for you all. Um, but like I said, this is a really good map. There's only a a limit of 14 fields which is kind of a bummer hopefully they'll come out with a new version of this map and add more fields also I would hope that they're going to come out with a Oklahoma map for 17 I absolutely enjoyed that map in 2000 or Farm Sim 15 uh, but hopefully they will come out with one in 17. If they do, that would be great. Uh, I did do a live stream this morning with one of my buddies that uh, I played Farm Sim with. Uh, I think it's called the Check Map. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel. Uh, You'll have to apologize. Uh, uh, you'll have to forgive me for not being able to pronounce stuff right, because you know I'm from Tennessee, and we have a hard time pronouncing stuff down here. Uh, but I'll leave a. Uh, I'll try to leave a link in the description below on that live stream so y'all can watch it and get a closer look on that map it is a very good map and that's probably one of the maps that's going on my dedicated server uh, I'll 
probably be taking Go Crest Valley down and putting that map up. Uh, just because it looks like a really, really awesome map. Uh, we, me and my buddy, we drove around and looked at all the fields. It is very well done. I will have to give the modder a 9 out of 10 because it's an outstanding map. Uh, plenty of big fields. There's 33 fields on it and none of them is small. They're all pretty pretty good sized fields. But and it shouldn't be much longer until my workers are done sewing on the fields. Ooh, and we are full. I do that right there all the time not paying attention and run right over my crops. I guess that's what I get for blabbing my mouth and not paying attention. But I know it is kind of boring if, you know, I just sit here and drive combines and tractors and not say nothing at all. It's kind of boring. But, uh, it's something I've had to get used to because it's it's different sitting here talking to myself and not having people to talk to. But however, I am talking to you guys. You're just watching it at a later date than I am. Uh, but like I said, I hopefully you guys do enjoy my videos. I enjoy doing them for you. It is a privilege, and we will take this and sell it real quick. Uh, no, we're only at 77%. We will take back over harvesting them. But yeah, it's a. Uh, I'll give this map an 8 out of 10. I wish they would have added just a little bit more hills in the fields instead of it just being all flat. Um, but other than that, there's nothing really to complain about this map except for all the trees. Uh, there is tons of trees on this map. Like, it is unreal how many trees are in one spot. And just in a second, I will take you over and show you how the trees are in this game. It is absolutely wild. take this guy and unload him and go sell that grain and then we will take a stroll through the woods. I'm hoping they come out with a auto combine like they did in Farmer Simulator 15. That was, other than course play, that was by far the uh, one of the best mods that I had seen. 
because it was just so handy. Um, whoever done that little mod was was did some outstanding thinking because that mod helped me out a lot when I was playing just by myself and didn't have anyone to play with at the time. So it was a very handy little mod. And even in multiplayer it was still a handy mod which you really shouldn't need it in multiplayer. Just like course play, you shouldn't need course play in multiplayer. Alright, now we will take this and sell it. If I can just remember how to get to the grain station. I'm still trying to get used to this map. <laughs> uh, it, it can get a little bit confusing sometimes. Well, not necessarily confusing, but it, uh, there's the BGA. We will be doing some of that later on once we get, uh, get some money to buy some equipment to do it with. Hopefully it won't take too long to do that. this thing not wanting to unload. Oh, I guess I need to move it just a little bit farther. I forgot this travels just a little bit longer than the other ones. $24,000, that's not too awful bad. Not the best, but it's decent. Still puts money in her pocket, I guess you could say. But it's better than not making any money at all. And once again, guys, if you want a want to be able to play in my dedicated server uh, please feel free to leave a comment saying you're interested or you want to play in my server and I will give you details on how to get into it it does have a password uh, it does have tw it only has 12 slots uh, but I'm going to try to up that to 16 slots when I have to renew my payment, monthly payment on it. That way I can have more people on the server. And right now, people are slowly joining my server. Uh, me and my buddies, we get on there and play all the time. Uh, we get on there and we'll play for hours and just have fun. Alright, now let's take you all over here and show you how these trees are. See how far everybody is. Looks like we got one of them done.
this map is pretty spread out and I'm noticing the closer I get to the trees over here the more it, the frames are starting to drop which if you're inside the tractor it's not as bad but when you go on the outside of the tractor it can be pretty rough and that's why I'm thinking about switching my let's plays to Goldcrest Valley because and this is how the trees are uh, they're not spread out they're all bunched up right here in rows and it's just tree after tree after tree and I wish they'd have done just a little bit better job spacing these trees out uh, it don't look realistic whatsoever but however they still done a great job on this map uh, this is a, one of the only complaints that I have about this map is all of these trees right here uh, it does drop the frame rate something terrible um, that's kinda why I don't do any logging is because it does drop the frame rates on mine um, and two I have the Satec control panel and my joystick has some kind of malfunction to it and uh, I'm hoping to get that resolved I'm gonna buy me a new one pretty soon hopefully that way I can do logging and I can't use some of my buckets that go on the tractors and telehandlers because of the joystick so it's kind of a pain but other than that it's it's a great product um, I wished I'd waited until Logitech bought it before I got it but I had no clue they were gonna buy Satec control panel wheel and pedals or I would have waited but I'm gonna be getting a new one here pretty soon uh, the control panel is like one of the most expensive things there is to buy and but it's it's worth it for anybody out there that is playing with just a keyboard or you know um, or a controller a Satec wheel and joystick is is well worth the money um, but other than that uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I will may be doing a by the time this video is uploaded I will be recording a multiplayer video or uploading it by the time this and uh, comes out so with that being said guys I will see you next time uh, in fact very soon uh, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and until next time I will see you guys